The first thing that we're going to do once we have BizHawk open is to go into config and hotkeys. We're going to click on the first box here and just start pressing escape on your keyboard. This should delete all of the pre-existing uh, config hotkeys. So we're going to click on fa the, the box next to fast forward and press tab. That's going to give us tab as fast forward. We're going to go over here to toggle menu and I use control shift M, M for menu. Uh, we'll see what that does in a second. And for increased speed, usually it's plus and decrease speed is usually minus. So we put those in. So let's save that. Next is going to be display. We'll usually give you a custom AR. So if you click on this radio button on the right hand side, and usually it's something like eight sevenths. So we'll put that in, for example. If you want something that's slightly uh, less crisp, something slightly less pixely, uh, you might want to pick bilinear here. And that'll give you a nice smooth looking uh, game. On the left hand side here, we have volume and this slider. Uh, controls the volume of BizHawk. I put it down to like 10 and then we try to kind of you know see what works afterwards. If you want to mute the whole thing either put it down to zero or uncheck this. Uh, make sure that you also pick the correct output uh, otherwise it will not work for you. Mine is speakers, yours may be something slightly different. Last, go into view and window size and make uh, BizHawk whatever size works for you. I usually have it on three times or four times, but whatever fits your screen is fine and whatever you can see is good. Once you have a ROM open for the system that you'd like to configure, for example, this is Super Nintendo and I've opened up Donkey Kong Country, you're going to want to go to Config and Controllers. Move this down a little bit. And we're going to click on the first box here next to P1 Up and we're going to press up on our controller. I have a USB controller here. It might uh, do different um, names here than yours does. Uh, but once you go through all of the buttons, down, left, right, etc., cetera, uh, then you can just hit OK uh, or save. These may not be the names that you have on yours. It's OK. Every controller has different names. So that's controller setup. To make this a little cleaner, we see we have this bottom thing here, um, and that's that's kind of gross looking. So we can go to view and these two, display status bar and display messages. We can just get rid of those. Um, it might resize your thing, uh, but display messages we can get rid of as well. And the last thing is we have this menu bar here, and we might not want to have that if we are going to be doing um, some kinds of, uh, you know, showing your thing on stream. So the way to get rid of this is just control shift and M. And that uh, was the hotkey that we set up before. So if you just press that again, it'll come back. And if it, if you uh, press it one more time, it'll go away. It just toggles the menu on top. So that's pretty cool.